Welcome to Goodwe Training Series. Today we will take you through the installation and wiring of solar communication box. Here are the functional differences between SCB-3000, SCB-3000A and SCB-3000B. 1. SCB-3000 The package includes SCB-3000 communication box and other installation accessories. The tools and auxiliary materials used for this installation including screwdriver, wire stripper, terminal crimping tool, power cable, RS-485 communication cable, LAN cable, PLC communication cable. First step, use the matching key to unlock and open the front cover of the communication box. In the SCB-3000, including PLC wiring switch, power wiring switch, data logger power adapter, data logger, PLC wiring, open L1 L2 L3 PE cable gland, Pass the PLC communication cable through the cable gland. Tighten the cable gland after reserving the right length of cable. Then crimp the OT terminal of the PLC communication cable. After that, open the plastic shell of the switch. Tighten the terminals in phase order. Lastly, cover back the shell. Power cable wiring. Open the cable gland, insert the power cable. Tighten the cable gland after reserving sufficient length. Finally, connect the power cable to the upper port on the circuit breaker. RS-485 wiring. Open COM 1 to 4 cable gland. After putting in the RS-485 cable, tighten the cable gland. Then, plug the RS-485 cable connector into the terminal block in the accessory kit. Finally, plug the terminal block into the corresponding COM port of the data logger. COM 1 to 4 to use according to the actual design needs of the project. LAN cable wiring. Open LAN cable gland. Put in the network cable and tighten the cable gland. Then, plug the network cable into the LAN port of the data logger. Finally, cover the lid and lock the latch. After completing all the wiring operations above, wire harnesses can be organized and tied using the cable ties in the accessory kit. Now the installation and configuration of SCB-3000 communication box is completed. 2. SCB-3000A. These are the accessories included in the accessory box, PLC communication cable and power cable wiring. Wiring method is the same as SCB-3000. You can refer to the video of SCB-3000 wiring to operate. RS-485 wiring. Put RS-485 cable into the COM port to the terminal block. Plug the RS-485 cable corresponding to the COM port into the terminal block. The LAN cable of the data logger in the SCB-3000A is connected to the switch at the factory. No connection required on site. The fiber optic port of the switch has been connected to the fiber optic fusion box. With a fiber optic patch cable at the factory and marked with a label. AB is a pair, CD is another pair. Fiber optic fusion box supports single mode fiber fusion. PE cable. Open the cable gland. Plug the ground cable, then tighten the cable gland. Connect the crimped ground wire to the grounding bus bar. Tighten the screws. After completing all the above wiring operations, cover the lid and lock the latch. The wiring of SCB-3000A communication box has been completed. 3. SCB-3000B 2 PLC wiring switch 1 power wiring switch Their wiring methods can be referred to SCB-3000. RS-485 terminal wiring method can be referred to SCB-3000A. The LAN port of the data logger and the fiber optic interface of the switch are connected at the factory. The grounding wire is connected to the grounding bus bar. Please refer to SCB-3000A for the wiring method. After completing all the above wiring, cover the lid and lock the latch. The wiring operation of SCB-3000B has been fully completed. That's all for the installation and wiring of solar communication box. Thank you for watching. For more installation and configuration videos of Goodwe Training Series, please visit our Goodwe community and stay tuned to our official account.